Hi, Scott here from Homeshore, and in this week's tip we're going to be exploring how to avoid the nightmare tenants. Now, every landlord maybe has a story or knows someone that has a story whereby they get that nightmare tenant, that tenant that just simply doesn't pay rent, wrecks a property, causes antisocial behaviour, and in most extreme of circumstances has to be evicted through the courts, costing a thousand pounds and maybe even three or four months rent arrears. So these are really the nightmare tenants that we all try to avoid. So lots of people going into property for the first time ask, I've heard all these stories, is it still worthwhile and how do I avoid these tenants? Well, I'll tell you how some of the worst tenants actually come to get properties initially. And it's generally when landlords do it themselves. They do things like put ads in Gumtree, put private ads in the window, and get friends and family, put stuff in Facebook and people that know or they speak to down the pub. Now, these people then turn up with the landlord, seem very plausible because most people can. No need to seem like nice tenants for a few minutes until you do the viewing. And landlords are left with the impression that, hey, these are great people and I'd like them to rent my family. These are my property. These are a really nice family. So they're left with the impression that these guys are pretty good. Now, tenants that are bad, that are deliberately bad or have something to hide and bad history, are not going to go and use a mainstream letting agent for the simple reason they're going to get investigated and they're probably going to get found out. So in our experience, we don't get the worst tenants. The worst tenants slide, totally miss us out and slide down to landlords that advertise privately. A good tenant won't have anything to hide, is happy to give us all the information we require. But these bad tenants, the nightmare tenants, the worst of the worst, target private landlords when they're advertising. So a bad tenant that knows they're bad, that knows they've been evicted, that knows they're going to have bad credit rating, isn't going to go into a letting agent and give us everything we provide. For example, bank statements, they're not going to let us look at their financial history. The wage slips, you know, we're not going to let us contact our employer if they have one. We're not going to let us do a credit check. And they're not going to give us the bank statements uh, to, to look through. They're not going to let us contact our previous landlords. They're not going to have this information. They're certainly not going to be giving it over if they do have it. So bad, bad tenants know not to even touch letting agents because they've tried it before and they've been knocked back before. So that unfortunately means that landlords that are advertising privately, so they might see an ad in the window and it's a mobile number, they know that these are the easy targets for, for them to, to focus on. Going into a letting agent is just something they're not going to do. They've done it in the past and they know they've been found out. So. These are how the nightmare tenants come about because no lighting agent or professional that's doing all these checks and doing credit checks, these lighting agents and professionals are going to find these tenants out and they're not going to give them properties. Even the worst properties we have in the books, we know it's far too much hassle to give these tenants a property simply to impress the landlord because one or two months down the line we know it's going to be a disaster. So these tenants just simply will never ever get properties with us. And because we carry out the checks, we normally identify them. So if you hear people moaning and saying they always get nightmare tenants, chances are it's because they're doing it themselves and they're going through the advertising methods that we mentioned previously. So how to counteract this? Well, don't advertise with private ads in the window. Don't advertise in Gumtree. Some landlords have been very lucky, but I'd say 9 out of 10 landlords always fall foul to this. Don't take recommendations and assume people are nice just because they seem plausible on the day. Either use a letting agent that's going to fully manage the property or at least use, use a letting agent that has access to all the credit checking and affordability checking facilities and at least pay them a tenant finding fee. I know a lot of people don't want to pay letting agents and don't like using them, but again, paying the money in advance, which is generally a month's rent or, or even 10% of the monthly rent, whatever, um, can save you a lot of money down the line. So sometimes cutting costs and getting things on the cheap doesn't always save you money in the long run. Certainly for us, we look at maximising the income over a period so it's not any initial fees that doesn't really matter it's maximizing the the landlord's income over the period of time say a year or five years and generally if you do your tenant selection the way we've just spoken about it and ask for all these things then you end up making more money than not using a lent agent so i hope that's helped